Legends of Wrestling, the LCW Heavyweight Champion, Cowboy Mike Hughes, has a few words for Mr. Fantastic. Welcome everybody to this edition of LCW's Legends of Wrestling here on NTV. I'm the voice of LCW, Commissioner Mike Barrington, along with my broadcast colleagues, John the Biz Bennett and George Scott. And gentlemen, I've got a little bit of business to take care of, so I'm gonna leave the booth for a few and leave it in your both of your capable hands. Thanks very much, Mike. Uh, Cowboy Mike Hughes making his way to the ring. Johnny Biz, not quite sure what uh, Hughes is up to here. I'm not really sure why the champion is out here, why the international wrestling god is gracing these peons with his presence for, but I can guarantee that it can be only of the utmost importance if he's lowered himself to associating with scum like that Cut in the, the music, CLBR. Stupid. Let's go to the ring and see what Hughes has to say. What I'd like now is for each and every one of you filthy morons to shut your mouths. I have business to tend to right now. I have a bone to pick with the LCW office and the LCW commissioner, and I want results right now. And for you morons that can't remember, the reason for this is the last time I was on this filthy rock Newfoundland defending my title, I said shut up and pay attention. The last time I was on this filthy rock defending my title against Gangrel, Mr. Fantastic came down to this ring in the middle of my match and stuck his nose in my business. And what I want, what I'm demanding right now is that the LCW office permanently suspend Mr. Fantastic from competition indefinitely. Cowboy Mike Hughes wants Mr. Fantastic to be suspended from LCW, but coming out, it's not Mr. Fantastic or Mike Barrington, it's Colt Cabana. And why is it whenever Cowboy Mike Hughes is out here trying to make a point and stand up for truth and justice in Legend City Wrestling. One of these undeserving punks have to come out here and rain all over his parade. Well, we'll find out in a moment, I think, why Colt Cabana's come out to the ring. All we hear is Mike Hughes crying and whining and yelling. Mike Hughes, you are the biggest baby I have seen. All you're doing is crying about Mr. Fantastic, but don't forget, that used to be my LCW World Heavyweight Championship. And I didn't come here from Chicago, Illinois to wrestle in any prelim match. I came here to be in the main event. So you cry all you want, you whine all you want, but I say tonight in the main event, Cole Cabana gets vengeance, and I challenge you for that championship right now. And you know something? I don't think that Cole Cabana has any basis to ask for a rematch. What, what is this? What's going on here, Johnny Biz? T-Bone Jack Sloan coming out. T-Bone Jack Sloan, the most dangerous, unhinged, human being 
wrestling in Legend City Wrestling is making his way to ringside. And I can guarantee that what happens next is probably not going to be that great for Boom Boom Colt Cabana. Cabana was calling for a match with Cowboy Mike Hughes, and suddenly T-Bone shows up. And he's having a word with both these guys. I don't, does he, is he looking for a match? I don't know. I don't know why he's out here. Let's see what he got to say. <laughs> you want this, and you want that. You want, you want, you want, you want, you want. Right? I guess you want some respect from T-Bone Jack Sloan, do you? Seems who you are and all. I don't give a damn what you want. You see, what I want to do is prove a point. And to prove a point, I'd like to take this phone, stick it down your throat, sit back and watch you choke, Colt Cabana! Okay, okay. What I'm trying to... What I'm trying to politely ask is that tonight I would very much like to come down to this and beat the snot out of you. T-Bone Jack still looking for a match with Colt Cabana. Everybody wants a piece of everybody here in the ring this evening. And here comes Commissioner Mike Barrington now. Get this settled. Gentlemen. I'm hearing some really fantastic ideas as I'm sitting at my desk in the back. But what will happen here today in this ring, T-Bone versus Colt Cabana, today? So that settles it. Commissioner Mike Barrington has decided it's gonna be T-Bone Jack Sloan against Colt Cabana. And if I'm Colt Cabana. I am very worried about stepping into the ring with the predator, T-Bone Jack Sloan. This guy is completely unhinged, completely unpredictable. You have no idea what he's going to do next. That's but right, you two idiots. Is, get out of my ring. You shouldn't going to interrupt about me Mr. in Fantastic. the first place. I'm the champ. You two go settle your own business out there. This is about the LCW champion. This is about Cowboy Mike Hughes and you, Mike Barrington. I don't want to hear anything except Mr. Fantastic is suspended. I want justice, and I want it now! Well, Cowboy Mike Hughes, I agree with you. You feel you've been wronged by Mr. Fantastic, but this is what we do in LCW. We settle our differences in that ring. So next week, Cowboy Mike Hughes, you'll defend your title against Mr. Fantastic! There you have it, folks. Commissioner Mike Barrington has spoken. Stay with us. We're going to take a break. Be right back. And we're back on LCW Legends of Wrestling here on NTV. About to make his appearance now, T-Bone Jack Sloan in a match that was set up just prior to the break by Commissioner Mike Barrington. Sloan's gonna take on Colt Cabana here this afternoon. And I think this is absolutely great, George. For once, Commissioner Mike Barrington has used his powers in a proper way by setting up the greatest match that he could have. Completely impromptu, by the way. This was not our scheduled event for this afternoon, but I still cannot wait to see T-Bone Jack Sloan pick the meat off the bones of Colt Cabana. T-Bone Jack Sloan carrying that T-Bone that he brings with him everywhere into the ring for this match this afternoon. And uh, a few moments ago, just prior to the break, we talked about how unhinged, how unpredictable T-Bone Jack Sloan is. Our cameras caught up with T-Bone just a moment ago, and let's take a look and see what we're talking about. What do you got to say for yourself? I mean, I bring you to LCW, I bring you to work with me, I put you on television, I show you the life, and what do you give me in return? Nothing. Nothing at all. The last time we were here, I lost my match against Mr. Fantastic. I mean, who's Mr. Fantastic? It wasn't me, it was you! I bring you here to help me, and all you do is hinder me. Don't sit there all cocky and smug in your chair. You greasy little freak! You've got a job to do, and you 
better do it right, because tonight we're going to get down to business, buddy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I've got to get in the ring with cult. Boom, boom, cabana. Boom, boom. Oh, what the hell is a boom? Look, shut up. Okay? I know he's been all over the world. My put What? Yes, I know he's got thousands of followers. He's a real popular man. I don't care. He's been doing this too long. He's in my way, in the way of my success. I'm tired of old dogs like him that just won't lay down. So I need your help tonight. You better do your job, or that's the end of you. Hear me? You again? Can we have a moment? What is going on with T-Bone Jack Sloan? What is the relationship with him and that T-Bone Johnny Biz? I'm not really sure, George, but I can guarantee you this. He's not above attempting to use it to take Colt Cabana's head off. And I cannot wait to see what he's going to put Cabana through. Speaking of Colt Cabana, here he comes making his way to the ring. Always a favorite at LCW, former LCW heavyweight champion. Let's take a look at uh, what Colt Cabana had to say just prior to his match. Ladies and gentlemen, my guest at this time, Colt Boom Boom Cabana. Now, Colt, what are your thoughts on coming back to LCW? Yeah, this is my third time here in Newfoundland. Obviously, I love the people of Newfoundland. I think you know that, Mike. I think the people on the camera know that. By the smile on my face, the good times that I have. Of course, I am the former LCW heavyweight champion, but the big asterisk on that one is former. Former. I think we all saw on NTV how Mike Hughes had his way with me, uh, the dastardly deeds that he's known, and now I know he's got his hand in the booking committee. Don't think I don't know about that. And tonight, I can't go, and I can't get my title back. No, I've got T-Bone, but hey, I'm all right with that. T-Bone, think I don't bark? You think I don't bite? I'm right up there, baby. I run with the dogs all day long. Hughes, you watch your back, but tonight, T-Bone, I'm in the dog pound. That was like eight dog puns. I'm pretty proud of myself. Arr. Well, there you have it, folks. Colt Cabana with his thoughts on his upcoming match against T-Bone Jack Sloan. I want to welcome back to the booth, Commissioner Mike Barrington. Well, George Scott, thank you very much for the warm welcome back. I wish I could say the same for our other colleague here, John Biz. But folks, I got to let you know that this contest is brought to you by one of our sponsors, the Delta St. John's. It's the home away from home for all LCW superstars. Now, Mike, before the break, you had a tough decision to make on which match you were going to put together today. What made you decide to put T-Bone Jack Sloan up against Colt Cabana? Well, what it boiled down to, George, is I had to pick and choose. Would it be Colt Cabana getting a rematch for the LCW Heavyweight Championship, or would I let Mr. Fantastic and Cowboy Mike Hughes settle their differences? And what it boiled down to is this. Mr. Fantastic, Cowboy Mike Hughes, there's a lot of unfinished business there. And I'm sure we'll see Cole Cabana back for his rematch for the LCW Heavyweight Championship at another time. Johnny Biz, what do you think of this matchup? I actually think that this is great. You didn't let Cole Cabana walk all over you, Mike. For once, I have to say that I am actually proud this afternoon to call you Legend City Commission. Strong words from Johnny Biz in the ring to uh, wrestlers tie up in the middle of the ring. T-Bone Jack Sloan goes to the side headlock to start things off. Punch right to the chin of Colt Cabana. Rocks him early. Referee pointing out that may have been a closed fist. He's pointing that out after Colt Cabana complains about it. I just want to point that out. Cabana complains about it. Wheeler didn't really see it, but he's going to side with Colt Cabana just because they're the nice guys. He's the good guy. Everybody's funny. T-Bone's got his thumb shoved in Cabana's mouth, but Cabana reverses it by biting down on Sloan's thumb. Finally, Sloan gets it free. Most unorthodox maneuver. But where was the referee on that, Mike? Where was the referee? Well, he was letting Cole Cabana clean his lips, that's for sure. That move left a bad taste in the mouth of Colt Cabana. Sloan tried to kind of gouge the thumb in there and got the worst of it as Cabana bit down. Now Sloan's not sure he wants to get back in the ring. 
Well, you know what? This is smart strategy by Jack Sloan. He's got that he's got that mandatory 10 count on the outside of the ring, taking a couple of minutes to try and recollect himself. They're gonna lock up, but T-Bone got the boot, and then the big right hand knocks down Colt Cabana. Sloan going for an early try to pin, and what is this? Colt Cabana is riding Jack Sloan. Well, that's just the sense of humor of Colt Cabana. But folks, we've got to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. I'm Legend City Wrestling superstar Matt Burns, telling you to stay in school so you can be as cool as me, Matt Burns. Come on, let's go, Wheeler. Two more. One more. Hold it there. All right. Awesome. You got this, brother. Ready and go! Come on! Push! Push! Oh, really? Seriously? And we're back after the break, folks. Legends of Wrestling here on NTV as T-Bone Jack Sloan tries to gain control of the match. Cabana reverses it, backslide, one. Two, only a two count as Sloan rolls out of it, comes back with a big clothesline to take down Cabana. A big, vicious clothesline, George. And as you can see, T-Bone Jack Sloan is now stalking Colt Cabana. He's going to pick him apart piece by piece and then throw whatever's left out back for the rest of the dog. Going for the pin again, hooks the leg. Again, only a two count. There's another dog pong from John Biz. Hey, I figure if your best buddy in the world, Cole Cabana, can get in on this. I'm a funny guy, too. I can get in there. No. Sloan taunting Cabana now. Got him in the corner. Cabana blocked the right hand, came back with one of his own. Blocks it again. Another right hand to the chest of Sloan. Whip into the turnbuckle. But he gets greeted by a big elbow from T-Bone Jack Sloan. Sloan trying to roll him up. Hooks the leg again, again only a two count as Cabana kicks out. Sloan looking a little frustrated right now. He's had a couple of two counts on Cabana, couldn't finish him off. Looks like he was going for the chin lock, got it more around the neck. Cabana's gonna break it though as he pulls Sloan's arms apart. Sloan stays in control though. And this is such a great maneuver. It gives Jack Sloan the opportunity to take a rest while still administering some punishment to Colt Cabana. Cabana gets back to his feet, back down to his knees again. Tremendous pressure being applied here by T-Bone Jack Sloan, wearing down Colt Cabana. Cabana reaching for the ropes, but he's caught in the middle. No way he's going to get to the ropes. Well, I don't think we should count Colt Cabana out just yet. I'm sure he's got a lot of gas left in the tank. And he does get back to his feet, trying to reverse the hole, and he does. But Sloan takes over with a boot to the midsection. Follows that up with a suplex and a lateral press. Only a two count again. As you can see, Jack Sloan is unusually focused on actually winning the match. More often than not, he's just more concerned about injuring his opponent. But it's gonna go up top and try and finish this off. But Cabana gets the feet up and Sloan gets the worst of it. Cabana looking very pleased with himself. Smart move by Colt Cabana to counter that as he got the two feet up and got him right under the chin of Jack Sloan. Both men are down, but again, Cabana playing to the crowd, big smile on his face. This is where he gets his energy from that crowd. Both men back to their feet. Cabana blocks, right hand, and he's wailing away on Jack Sloan right now. Sloan reverse it, whip into the ropes. Cabana ducks the clothesline, back with another series of right hands. And He's winding up. Big elbow. Down goes Sloan. Oh, Over the a... top goes Cabana. That's one of the more creative pins we've seen for sure. And folks, we've got to take another commercial break, but don't you go anywhere. There's more LCW Legends of Wrestling after this. Wrestling fans, LCW is coming to a town near you. 
Tuesday, April 30th at the Palace in Cornerbrook. Wednesday, May 1st at the Polar Center in St. Anthony. Friday, May 3rd at the Labrador City Arena. Saturday, May 4th at the E.J. Broomfield Arena in Happy Valley Goose Bay. For more information, visit our website, legendcitywrestling.com or call us toll free 1-855-LEGEND-4. Welcome back to LCW Legends of Wrestling here on NTV. And of course, T-Bone Jack Sloan is taking it to Colt Cabana. T-Bone Jack Sloan now in firm control of Boom Boom Colt Cabana, teaching Cabana a lesson not to come out and stick his nose where it doesn't belong. And he's going to teach Cabana a little bit of respect here, I think. Cabana picks up Sloan. Big knee drop, that's the take a nap move. And out goes Sloan. But as you can see, the wily veteran that Jack Sloan is, he slips to the outside because Colt Cabana cannot cover him outside. This contest will continue, and that's great ring awareness from T-Bone. Cabana's going to take this fight outside the ring. Sloan is in all kinds of trouble right now as he took that take a nap to the chin and, as you say, slipped out of the ring to avoid the cover, but Cabana throws him back in. And Sloan smartly gets back out again. Sloan Still. is certainly aware of the effectiveness of the take a nap. Of course, that's shade, Now they brought the ring of... bell into the ring. We're gonna have a tug of war now. Both these guys want that ring bell. Cabana has got it, and now Sloan is not so happy that he brought it in. The referee has got to stop this right now. He's got to disarm Colt Cabana before Cabana tries to end Here we go, career. Man. Oh, the referee did take it away. What Slo Sloan's got his T-bone. Uses the T-bone against Cabana. Cabana's down, hooks the leg. One, two, and it's three. The winner of the match, T-bone Jack Sloan using the T-bone. It was absolutely excellent. T-Bone Jack Sloan seen his opportunity. The referee's back was turned, trying to stop Colt Cabana from ending T-Bone's career. T-Bone takes full advantage with the assist from his ever-trusty ball. Folks, we'll see you next week.